On Sunday, June 25th, communist forces attacked the Republic of Korea. This attack has made it clear beyond all doubt that the international communist movement is willing to use armed invasion to conquer independent nations. An act of aggression such as this creates a very real danger to the security of all three nations. For 235 years, Marines have fought and prevailed in every clime and place. From the wheat fields of Bella Wood to the coral island of Peleliu, from the hills around Pusan and the steamy jungles of Vietnam to the deserts of Iraq and the river valleys of Afghanistan, there is one breed of warrior that has succeeded in the face of hardship and adversity, the United States Marine. There are only two kinds of people who understand Marines. So it's true, freedom is not free, but the United States Marine Corps will pay most of your share. Sixty years ago, the Korean War began and the Marine Corps waged one of the most savage campaigns in our history, the Battle at the Chosen Reservoir. As we pause to celebrate the birthday of our Corps, we pay special tribute to the Marines of the Korean War and recognize their contribution to our legacy. Throughout the history of our Corps, United States Marines have operated from sea to shore and beyond. Marines have always prevailed against our nation's foe in every climate place. And that legacy continues today through warriors like you. All I know is uh, that, that I'm proud that even though I never went to boot camp, I can call myself a Marine. Some of these reserves that's coming in, some of them were corporals, but none of them had been through boot camp. And uh, this is where uh, I, uh, uh, I guess I'm pretty much a stickler for discipline. And the gunny said, uh, Lieutenant, you know, if, if this were stateside, uh, half your men would be over the hill, but the, the other half will follow you to hell. And I said, well, everybody's going to follow me to hell. The constants of the cold, I mean, it was, it was always with you. You never got warm. Not only cold, but it was scary. Scary cold when you can't see anything through the snow, but you know they're there. I could tell that something was going to happen. I, I just had a feeling. The 27th of November is when they first hit. They had like hundred and some thousand Chinese came in to wipe out the 1st Marine Division. Uh, Chinese attacked us, came across the field. Infantry units attacked us with small arms. We were overrun every day and every night, uh, but we held them back. The guys were coming up the hill and there were bodies all over the place and the snow was blood red and it was freezing cold. It was so cold. I would say that the cold was a blessing to me because I was wounded in so many different places. I would have bled to death had it not been for the cold coagulating the blood. My impression about the Marines, I mean, they did a darn good job. You know, we came out of there 70 some miles walking and bringing our equipment and majority of our dead and wounded. History uh, shows that, uh, that that phrase out of the Marine Corps hymn, any climb, any place is true. Uh, we, did, we did what had to be done. We learned fast, and uh, we were effective. Supported by Marine Air, the 1st Marine Division fought their way from the Chosen Reservoir some 78 miles south to the port of Hung Nam. Had it not been for air support, we would not have gotten out of there. 
You always tell the, the single men from the married men because of how high they came in. Of the nearly 15,000 Marines involved in the battle, over 4,400 were killed or wounded. The Chinese and North Korean forces suffered losses of over 37,000 men. I did my duty. I protected my fellow Marines. They protected me. And uh, I'm prouder of that than the fact that the government decided to give me the Medal of Honor. The Chinese had the mission to annihilate the division and they did not accomplish that. I can remember seeing artillery pieces with dead bodies wired on the barrel of the gun, like washed and taking them out of there to make sure that they got a decent burial. And it just really impressed me. The Marines at the reservoir were uh, Marines like in the Second World War. They were Marines like they were in the First World War. They were truly uh, superb. We have fought uh, from the Chosen uh, to the, uh, the desert environment of Iraq, which is 142 degrees with nowhere near 80 to 100 pounds of battle armor on. This past year marked the end of Marine Corps combat operations in Iraq. Yeah, baby. We honor all Marines who served valiantly in Al Anbar province and throughout Iraq and recognize their efforts knowing they departed under a pennant of victory. You know, my niece or my nephew, when they grow up one day, they're going to look at uh, those Marines and, and say, those are my heroes, just like we do for the Marines that have gone before us. Today, in the rugged mountains and valleys of Afghanistan and on Navy ships throughout the globe, Marines are again fighting to preserve our freedom, just as they did 60 years ago in Korea. I love being able to leave the wire with 12 other Marines and millions of dollars of equipment. If you're responsible to come back with them and say, hey, we got all our equipment, we got all our Marines, I, I love that responsibility. I think the Marines of today are as good, if not better, than they were back then. We have some of the finest young NCOs that the world will ever see. I look at them guys and like, oh, where's my helmet, you know? Same guys. If you ask me personally what it is that, that drives me to go in, a hot zone. It's probably because I couldn't live with myself if I left them in there and didn't go in and try to get them out. Areas where there's death involved, there's brotherhood, believe me. If you hurt and wounded, be coming to get you. You know, the Marine to the left and to the right, those are the ones that are going to understand exactly what you're going through and they're the ones that are going to help you get through it. We'll go through a mountain, we'll go above a mountain, go through the water, mud, Heat, cold, don't matter. I, I believe, you know, any, any climb, any place, you know, not just with the terrain, the environment, but the, the Marines themselves. They don't care where they're at as long as they're, as long as they're doing their part. You know, seeing, you know, close to 150, 160 degrees of temperature change in, in seven months, that, uh, if that's not any climbing place, I don't know what is. Synonymous with Korea uh, in terms of mountainous environments, um, the Marines just get it done. They get it done. It is our duty to go out and do the bidding for our nation when they call upon us to serve. Since 1775, Marines have forged a legacy of warfighting excellence. Past and present, young and old, we keep faith with the traditions of our Corps and honor the memories of those who have gone before. As we look to the future, the Marine Corps will continue its role as America's expeditionary force in readiness. We will succeed in our vital mission in Afghanistan. We'll respond to our nation's calling throughout the globe and reposture the Corps to meet the many challenges of the future. As we celebrate the 235th birthday of our Corps, we honor the heroes of the Korean War and salute the service of all Marines, past and present. And we appreciate the support and sacrifices of our families and friends. Happy birthday, Marines. And Semper Fidelis. <laughs>